welcome back to the Arc Aberration Let's Play. Well, I think what we're going to do is see what kind of trouble we can get in. What the heck is this sitting on top of me? Oh, it's Job of the Hut. What is this? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my shoulder pet. Um, okay, I have a level up available. I think what has happened is that um, Art did a free mind wipe because of the new weights that were put on the armor. So, yeah. Why can't I move? Look, look at that heavy symbol. I'm sure everybody was like, wait, I knew about this, but I still didn't get it. So, yeah, I, got it. I get to put all my, my points back in. So you can adjust. Bam, ba -dum, putting them all back in. Yay. All right. Uh, that means we get to ask for the do the engrams all over again too. So yay. That's awesome. We just became magically delicious. All right. I need to. Bring my health and food and everything back up to speed, and I will wait for that. Then I want what I want to do is I want to make I want to prepare for taming the carcanos, and we've already made the catapult, but we got to make some gates, kind of to hem it in so it doesn't run away when we start hitting it with uh, stones and stuff. I have never tamed it by myself, so this should be interesting. Alright, let's clean out our, our inventory and let's see. Get all this. Alright, let's just put everything away. It won't take too long, I hope. We're doing pretty good. Got some tons of narcotics and steady going steady going probably need to go get some narco berries but not right now got stuff to do all right let's see um we'll go ahead and put narcotics one of the engrams we have to get back that we already learned but let's see we'll do gunpowder and I don't know I think maybe we, we could we'll do one or two or whatever but I think what we'll do is we'll wait till we need to do something so let's we'll see what a uh, There's anything that I want to get right now. Um, I think we'll just wait. I'll just wait until I need it. That's the best way to do it, I think. Go ahead and make these. And yeah, I'm going to clean out my inventory and get prepped up so we can go on to the next thing. It should take just a second. Hold on, I'll be right back. Alright. Cleaned out and putting away everything. Um, I guess that's it. Hmm. to make a gate. I uh, don't know which kind. The cheapest is the wood one. And then we got the stone. And I don't want to make a metal one. I think the stone will be enough. This will find out stone ought to be strong enough to hold it long enough to get it knocked out I hope if I can get it corralled this is gonna be tricky like I said I've never done it by myself 
so I may, may be an epic fail, but I'm optimistic. Uh, I'm getting carcanos, and once we do that, all oh, this game is going to open up so well. So well. We've got to get the highest level we can possibly get. Alright, so we need all these stones and wood. I have a problem. It doesn't pull the wood like it should sometimes. Like the fungal wood is counted as wood. But sometimes these engrams don't pull them. See, we have plenty of fungal wood. So let's go ahead and pull that in there and then we can get a, get a better idea of what we lack. So it's stones. Alright. I don't know how many of these things we're going to need either. I think we could start by... Uh, it's dark. Spooky. But we're, we're going to take the dogs out. Dogs. Bat. Bat dogs. Rat dogs. I don't know what they are. Raven. Ravengers are strange. Anyway, we're going to take them because they can carry a lot of weight. And they'll be my little pack meals for today. My little helpers. Let's do this. Let me turn the light on. Ta-da! Let's see what I'm doing. So we've been harvesting stones in the front yard here. Haven't had any trouble, so that's cool. Just loading up the dogs and... Let's see. Get the most stones, you need to use your axe, and the pick gets the most flint. Sometimes I forget that. My two little darlings, my little sweeties. <laughs> With faces only a mother can love. Alrighty. Let's get up here. We still need a lot of practice. He still wants to jump in front of the leader. I shouldn't be allowed. Alrighty, we got all the rocks we need to build a gate. Um, let's pull the stones off the talkies. As you can see, they carried a lot. A lot. And we got some metal. We got all these supplies. We'll go ahead and take all that off of them, too. See, we got the catapult in this one. Take all this off. Right. And we'll empty out our purse again. Let's just put, just put all this stuff in there except the catapult. And I don't know how many of these things we're going to need. I'm thinking three, maybe four, maybe. Uh, not sure. Not sure. I'm going to take a little break. Oh, we leveled up. Yay! Alright, let's go explore and see if we can find a Carcanos that we're interested in. We obviously were going to have to make more gates. Yep. I want to go, but I think I want to go by the lake first. I think. Or that little creek, maybe. Run, 
darling, run! Dodo. I love this area. It's so cool. It's really, really a good area. I like the lake too. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the creek. I'm, I'm tired of going down the creek. Because it seems like all oh, there are alligators and they, they, they do differently now. They can dismount you. I don't want to be dismounted. I want to just, on a scouting trip, looking for a decent carcanos. Because I haven't seen the one that we had seen earlier. I don't know. It has either been killed or it's rotated down the, the road a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, it's indicating that there is a uh, max level animal around here somewhere. I have no idea what it could be a glow bug or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a fish. No telling. No telling. But every time we go through this little area, it, it indicates. That's what that symbol is down there with the glowy eyes. It's your pet telling you that there's a max level animal here somewhere. What kind of trouble are we going to get into? Ooh, I see a, a piranha down there. You know what else they have in these creeks? Yep, they have cutest little otters. If we can find them. What's that? Oh, you're talking about paranoid. I thought that was a, a basilisk. It's just the creek that runs up to the lake. Or down from the lake, I suppose you could say. Alright. Let's see. I've got to put these guys on passive. So, in case I get hit, they don't jump in the water to defend me. And I certainly don't want them killing any otters or whatever. I don't know what they'll be doing. Um, first, I need to put them in a group. Let's see. Um... We'll call this group the Ravenger. That's not how you spell it. It's Ravager. Okay, they're group two. Group one was um, Treetop. So we're going to put Diplo. Alright. So now they're both in their group and I should be able to whistle their group. class to the group. There we go. In case I get any more, they'll automatically be added. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to have to wait till the earthquake is over because I don't know if you've ever been in the water when an earthquake hits, but you sliding around down there, you can't, you can't control anything. At least you've got gravity to help you up here, but when you're in the water, it just slings you around like crazy. Not fun at all. I don't want the oil. Give me your oil. Give me your oil. Huh? Oh, my pet went out. <laughs> I gotta get used to that. It's like, what happened? Where's the sun? It's like, uh oh. You're not in Kansas anymore, Dorothy. Alright, let's try this again. Oh. Let's go a little further down here. Because I know a really good spot for where the otters are. Let's go a little 
further. See, that's what I'm talking about. I don't see anything. Which, you know, at the moment that's a good thing, but... <sighs> Piranhas. Here I am. Oh, there you are. Okay. Where? Oh, there you are. I have something for you. It's called my sword. Come on. Dead. Die. Is that it? This pit is full of fish. Completely. I don't see any more. Don't see any more. Okay. There's three of them down there. Can you see them? They're hard to tell from the piece, but we're gonna drag the body over there. This is my pet peeve. They're really difficult to feed because the big fish flop in your face and you can't get the prompt and you just I just missed it so you kind of have to swim around to get it to follow you instead of being in front it's a big pain in the butt oh I missed it again and I missed it again and again mm. there it is Yay! Okay, we're gonna tame all three. And there we go. Oop, I'm drowning. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yay! Alright. It, it's a long and tedious process. If you've ever tamed one, you know what I'm talking about. So now look at the three cuties we have. Oh my god, they're adorable! Hi! Hi! Welcome to the family! Oh gosh, I gotta get them all home. I have to get them all home. <sighs> okay. We're, I'm trying to think how we're gonna do this. Well, step by step. We'll get some fish because Unfortunately, the only thing that they eat are fish. I probably will regret it because this means I have to fish every day to feed them. So I'm gonna kill a bunch here. Once they get a carcanos, they can do all the fishing. Excellent. These are excellent. So, this is the fish pit. It's right at the end, a little bit down from the little creek that comes down from the lake. Okay, guys, we're going to try to get everybody home in one piece without having any fights. Should be interesting. Alright, let's see if we can get them all follow. Do, 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 do. Oh, we got a slow poke. Did I not whistle? Thought I did. Alright, let's go. See how fast I can go. Okay, now we know how fast we can go. I would prefer to have one of the Ravagers behind them and have them in the middle. If I can make that happen would be awesome. Where's the other one? Are they all three there? Yeah. Okay. A little bit further. And since we didn't encounter anything, unless something spawned, you know, it should be pretty safe. Oh! I think they're between us now. 
No, there they are. This is not going to work. Hmm. Gotta get some food. Hmm. Let's just walk regular. Yeah, because now they're in between. Alright. We just walk. We're walking home. Walk at home with our little guys. Hello, Mr. Parasaur. Ah, that's better. It's hard to see. Luckily, in this neck of the woods, you don't encounter the nameless. And we're hungry. We need to eat. Yeah, I much prefer going this route. It is so much easier than going all the way down the river. I mean, it's okay when you're on the dip low, but the Ravengers are not good swimmers. This is vital information. They are not good swimmers. It affects everything, you know, fighting, whatever. You, if you can get out of the water, get out of the water. But on land, they're crafty and they could climb a lot of places. Which we're going to test out. I mean, we've been trying it out on the zip lines that we made. Hi, everybody. You okay? Good. Thank you for flying Ravenger Airlines. And we're having another earthquake, which makes me very nervous. And the reason being is because if you have a uh, you know, like raptors or whatever kind of carnivores that have spawned up there above us, these shake them out and they fall down. And that's why we get new stuff down here. And so it may have been clean going down to the river, but it could respawn there or be shook out. So I'll just be, I'll just be glad when we get home. This is kind of nerve-wracking because I like I like the otters. I think they're cute. They also will fish for you. Um, they will also keep you warm if you wear them. Too bad they don't have little light thingies. Come on, let's get home as soon as possible. All right, we only got a short little place. Straight ahead up there where that blue light is pulsating is the cave to the surface. Almost home, almost home. We're doing good. Almost there. Are they not adorable? They are freaking adorable. I know, it's violating the very first and main rule of ARC is do not get attached to your animals. Do not get attached. Do not get attached. But they're so cute! <laughs> okay. Uh, a little bit further. Probably should have fast forwarded through all this, but... You can see how nerve-wracking it is, even if it's not that far. Because I, I really didn't think ahead. I thought, well, while I'm down here, I might as well try to get them. You see, they're really easy to tame. It just takes t killing a fish, feeding it to the otter, killing a fish, feeding it to the otter, and there you go. Nice stego. I don't want to... Here's a tip. Don't kill the stegos. Or the trikes if they're around your base because they're your first line of defense they're like living walls because most things that will attack you will attack them and they don't 
mess around. They will kick butt, usually. Segos are very powerful, especially in packs, especially in the wild. There's our little gas vent going to town. We definitely need to get that thing capped off. That's like a priority too. But we're nowhere near that stage yet, I don't think. I'll check it out later. Where are they? Um, hello? Oh, there you are. Is that everybody? Yes. Well, you took your sweet time. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take them up one by one. Let's throw off this pet and just take them up one by one. I, I think that's the easiest way to do it. And then we'll bring the dogs up. Okay, let's do that. What's up, everybody? Alright. Picking that one up. I think it was the last one. And this is how I did all of them. And the third one is done. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh. This is so adorable. <laughs> they are so cute. So, so cute. Take a picture. Take a picture. I say that for later. Maybe make a painting or something. Oops, I didn't put you in a good place. Bam. There you are. So. Larry, Carly, and Mo. Mo, Larry, and Carly. <laughs> the Three Stooges. What else would I name them? They're so, they're so cute. And they're so funny. Okay. They level up and make sure they have fish. Yep, yep, yep. It's not all about dying and survival. It's about living. And I'm, I'm pleased with my new little guys. I just have to keep a rain on, on collecting animals. So, we're going to get back to the business of trying to tame a Carcanos. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye!